Okay, hey guys, uh, welcome to part 3 of this uh, Halloween special I'm doing. Um, I'm calling it Halloween special because I can't think of anything else to call it. Uh, first of all, I want to start by saying hello to all my new subscribers. How you doing? Hello to all my old subscribers. I don't know why I do that. I, I might as well just say hello to all my subscribers. It would make more sense, but um, so, yeah, I just don't want to leave anybody out, you know. So new subscribers, how you doing? Old subscribers. Thank you for sticking with me and being this gracious as to still be subscribed to me after all this time. Um, I'm going to say you're very nice. All roll insane. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, so, yeah. Uh, second of all, I want to uh, say a big thank you to Cassell for um, telling me what the hell candy corn was. Because it was bugging the hell out of me. Um, even Googling it, you don't really sort of get an honest you know, like, idea of what what the hell it was, I mean, like I said, it's, I, I imagine it's um, a big thing in the US, I have no idea, um, but it does sound vaguely familiar from somewhere, so thank you, Cassell. Um, right, first of all, let me explain this top, because I'm going to imagine people are going to look and wonder, uh, and I want to show it off, so, this is a Ghostbusters t-shirt, um, Yesterday went to the uh, 30th anniversary screen of Ghostbusters, which was absolutely epic. Um, so, yeah, as you can imagine, this, this t-shirt was awesome. So, I would say one of many Ghostbusters t-shirts I've got, but this one was just, you know. So I thought, with it being Halloween and ghosts and Ghostbusters, you see my association, you see where I'm going with this. Um, basically, I'm a big nerd. I'm a geek, I'll, I admit it. I like being a big nerd. And I say, this is the tip of the iceberg. You guys can only see what's on sort of either side of... either side of this webcam, you probably get a good idea of that. Um, well, yeah, I am admittedly a big geek. Um, and seeing Ghostbusters at the cinema for the 30th anniversary was absolutely awesome. It really, really was. Um, even if you're not a Ghostbusters fan, it's worth seeing at a cinema. I never got to see it first time around. I was four when that movie came out. So, and I don't think I went to the cinema till I was about six. I can't even remember what I went to see at that, to be honest with you. Um, main cinema visit I remember is uh, 1987 Massive Universe. Anyway, but we're going completely off topic here. This is meant to be a candle review and I'm doing it again. I'm waffling on about stuff, it doesn't matter. But yeah, big geek, nerd, whatever you want to call it. Proud of it. So, um, I mean, you imagine what's it called. Um, my wife is as bad as I am for this kind of stuff, but she's not the biggest fan of Ghostbusters because she's a lot younger than I am. God damn it. Um, so, <laughs> but yeah, she is um, she is younger than I am, so she's not the greatest fan of Ghostbusters. But she said, "Oh, well, go go see it. I know it's a big deal to you, and it was a big part of your childhood and all that lot." Um, and somehow I've managed to brainwash, well, I haven't brainwashed, <laughs> I, I've managed to convince the kids that, um, well, my oldest son, I don't think my youngest really cares, to be honest, um, my oldest son is uh, slowly getting into a lot of the older stuff that I am, especially Ghostbusters, is going nuts for it at the minute, so, but yeah, anyway, review, so, this is Pumpkin Spice. And as you can tell by the label, it is a, an old round label. So I'm going to say that this is vintage. And the problem with vintage comes, has it still got smell? Yeah, it has got a smell. We'll go for a cold sniff first and see what happens there. It has a smell of spice. Now, I know it's pumpkin spice, so there's a lot of you sat there at home sort of going, well, obviously it's spice, slapping your foreheads or... Um, what's it called going, Ugh. but no, yeah, it smells of spice, um, not exactly shocking to you, the fact it doesn't smell of pumpkin whatsoever is the fact it's pumpkin spice, I don't know if the, uh, the smell of a pumpkin died a long time ago, um, so I, have, I don't know, all I know is this, is I'm a cold smell, all I'm smelling is spice, but it's really, really nice, it's very, very nice in fact, um, but, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it has lost a little bit of something, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, like I said, I, even I don't remember when this came out, and I've I've been getting Yankees, what, ooh, I think the first one was about 12 years ago, 12, 13 years ago, probably longer than that, actually. 
was the first time I got a Yankee Candle? Probably late 90s. Um, so I think my mum used to get them originally. Um, and then I started to like some of them. Didn't like all of the ones my mum got. A lot of my mums were very, very girly smells, obviously. Um, but yeah, some of them were quite nice. But I do not remember that at all. Um, whatsoever. But I'm going to imagine, because it's a, a round label, it's going to be fairly old ish. I think the thing that makes it worse and hard to smell if it's, you know, if it's lost anything is because it was at the bottom of the basket. I remembered which store I got it from in the end. Um, for anyone in the UK, you'll know or you'll have heard of Boundary Mill. I mentioned it in other videos before. They do really, really nice but slightly cheaper tarts. I don't do the brand new ranges, I do some of the older ones. Um, and then somewhere in the middle of the store, I've got this basket full of them. And it's just like loose tarts, and there's all sorts in there. Ones from like about two or three years ago. But if you go right to the bottom, you can find the really, really ancient ones, which have probably been there since the store opened. Um, but yeah, they're, um, they're, they're worth going through, as long as you don't mind getting very, very sticky. So by the time you get to the bottom, it's like putting your hand in glue. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. You're pulling it out, you're just going, Ugh. So, but yeah. So I've, on a cold smell, very, very hard to smell now. Seems I was struggling with that. I've literally put the oil burner on behind me so I can try and be smelling it as we're doing this. So, um, let me have a smell. Bear with me. If I can do it without setting my hair on fire on the candles. Right, on the burning, there is a very, very, very faint smell of pumpkin. Um, but to be honest with you, it's getting overpowered by the spice. So,. Which is probably a good thing, I mean, because, you know, pumpkin's alright, but it's like when you've got your uh, Halloween pumpkins on. You've carved your pumpkin, you burn it for the night, and then towards the end of the night you're left with that pumpkin smell. To me, it's not a very nice smell. I don't know why. Um, I can only imagine that's going to be our house later. Um, it seems it's our uh, little one's first year at home. Seems last year he spent his Halloween still in the hospital. We'd never had him home by that point. We haven't been ten week early as you probably all know. Um so we're going a little bit Halloween mad as you can tell behind me. Um I'll say you don't see the rest of the room. Um so yeah. So this anyway. I keep drifting off course, I don't know why. I uh, apologise I'm trying not to bore you all. Um I can understand if you don't watch my videos all the way through. I don't watch my videos all the way through either. Um so yeah, um, that'd be pumpkin spice, um, like I said, more spice than it is pumpkin, but again, not a bad thing, um, I mean, I'm not exactly looking forward to the smell of burnt out pumpkins by the end of tomorrow night, but the kids are going to love it, but if, um, if you are, I suppose, one of those people who really, really likes the smell of burning pumpkin, then that, that might be the one for you, um, Unfortunately, like I said, I was getting a little bit desperate and thought, well, I need to do something else for a tart, so I've found that out. And to be honest, I don't think I would have reviewed it at any other time of year, so... That is your pumpkin spice. Um, getting your hands on this, I would imagine, if you have any um, stores that do some of the much older things, I mean, if you're in the UK, Boundary Mill, something like that... Um, if you're in the States, I would imagine the Yankee stores might do them. If I don't know if they do the older tarts, or they have like old baskets where they have that kind of thing over there. I'm not too sure, but I thought I'd do it anyway. It's, it's different. For everyone else in the world, um, again, if you have like uh, stores that do like older Yankee tarts, that's probably the way to go, because I have zero idea how old this is. Um, I really have no idea whatsoever. I wish I could tell you. Um, but if anybody knows, put it in the comments section. Um, so, yeah, that'd be pumpkin spice. Right. As I said before, I am adding a part four, but that won't be a review. That will be a few mixology ideas. Um, a couple which I've actually tried, and I'm going to just give a couple of ideas to you all for things to try, which I haven't tried yet, and then you have to let me know the results in the comments section. So that'll be part four. I will be doing that very, very shortly. Um... Thanks again for uh, watching, um, thank you to all my subscribers, I appreciate it, I really do, especially your patience in putting up with me, um, and yeah, 
Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all on that next review.